Hey guys, it's Bobby, and this is my unboxing of the HTP VR. I just got it today. I've been using my friends for a while, and I figured out what's wrong with his um, with his TV or his PSP setup. Why it wouldn't work on his, but it would work on mine. So um, I'll tell you guys later about that though. But this is the HTP VR right here. Cost um two hundred dollars. Actually, it cost two twenty, but I'm getting a twenty dollar mail-in rebate pretty soon, so it's fine. I got it at Micro Center. There's only a few of those around the country, maybe like twenty or so. But I have one. Well, maybe 20 miles from my house. Slow drive out there, though, but I got it. And, um, they had about four left. I got one. And, um, I'm just going to show you guys what's inside the box and why it's pretty much so expensive. I don't know why. But whatever. Open it up. It's my first time opening it, too, so I don't know what's... Well, I know it's going to be in here, though, but I don't know what it's going to look like when it's all packed and up and stuff and whatnot. And, obviously, right here is the big black box. It's not even that heavy. It's like only heavy part about it is the actual plastic it's not even like it's probably it's probably like hollow inside i swear it's not that heavy at all but a little tape right here open this up get this out ta-da that is cool now i don't use these at all this is the power button right here side side bottom back is where all the stuff is the good stuff um I'll show you guys all the cords though. The cords are obviously in here too. And you have to buy actually an extra cord. So before you guys get this, um, or when you get it, make sure to get the other cord. I'll show you to you in a second. This is for, pretty much, you fill out all of these and these two. And maybe these for like the audio and stuff. But I'll show you guys how to set it up in a second. Put this off to the side right on my table over here. Well, I had it before. And, okay, back to the box. This is probably the power, I'm guessing. I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is just a power cord. It so, um, takes up, it's pretty wide, so it might take up a few power outlets, or if you have a big one like me, power surge thing over there. I have every single outlet in my area over here occupied, because I have so much shit. And I have a, I just got it a few days ago. Cold fire extinguisher in case my things burst into flames. I saw an infomercial on that, like Billy Mays and stuff, on that one TV show. I got it. My mom got it, though, but... Let me just plug this in one sec, hold on. Okay. And then... Is it dark in here? Oh, okay. And then this is just the USB, which you plug into the computer. This goes in the computer. This goes in the back of the PVR. Toss that over there. Now this is the big, big, big wire that pretty much... Look that shit in here. This is humongous right here. This is humongous. Uh, This goes into your TV. Actually, wait. Yeah. Pretty much, it doesn't matter which end, but this goes into your TV, let's say, and this goes in the back of the PVR. Now, I'll show you guys what to do and how mine is set up. Wait, this is one more coir wire. Coir. This is for, like, a remote. Mine didn't come with a remote control. But I bet you, like, I, I don't even use the remote control at all. But, um, oh yeah, the manual, blah. If you watch this video, obviously not going to need that. And this is, oh, wait. And then there's a CD. CD, uh, installs, uh, pretty quick. You have to turn off it. You have to restart your computer about two times, actually. So that's weird. But I'm going to obviously take my camera out of the stand. Okay. Now this is my setup over here: Xbox and PS3 up over there again. Now this is it right here, and a whole bunch of wires. And the wires that are already plugged in, actually, because I bought it for. I'll turn out my light right here. Ow! Punched it. Okay. This is the back of the TV. Um, this right. The um, these right here for my cable box, but beneath it. All the other ones. So you, the big, big wire that came with the HTP VR, you plug all those into here, and these are the components. And obviously, the other end of those components go the top row, I believe. Yeah, I think, yeah, top row. I'm not sure though. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, top row, and then you just, um, it hooks up real easy. So I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to show you the finished product. Hold on one sec. Okay guys, now this is the setup part of the video, and once you guys um, have the big, big wire plugged into your component on the back of your TV, this one right here, you want to put it in the top row of the HD PVR. And then you just have to get a separate wire, which is a component cable for the PS3. Just type in component cable for PS3 Xbox. I got, um, obviously at GameStop, just guys go there, 100% at GameStop. And, um... This one has, it's cool, it's the um, multi-use, which has an Xbox, like, so, so pretty much this wire goes into this, and then coils, coils around, whatever, 
and then it goes to the Xbox, a Wii, or PS3. So you can record on all those things at one, not at that one, so, but, so I can switch from PS3 recording automatically to an Xbox recording. And then, um, the back, the USB, once you guys un install all of the stuff on your PC, you will get this thing right here, which is a Total Media Extreme, Total Media. And then, um, this will happen if you plug it in, but not before you record your, uh, I mean, not record, but fix your output settings to HDMI to an, um, a component cable. And I'll explain it on my PBR in a second, though, because that's what happened to me. That's why I couldn't get it working. So, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it for the setup. And once you guys get all these things in, I'm going to see the power on. Um, it automatically turns on, and when it records, actually, a blue light appears around the ring right here, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what to do, how to set it up on your PS3 and your PC on my HTTP VR. Oh, I'm just getting turned dark. Okay, right back. Okay guys, now this is how you set up to view on your computer and record on your computer and view on your TV. Now, if you guys like, like me, you have a HDMI cable, which you're playing on right now. But if you want to record on your PC with obviously that, um, and you use the component cables, that's why you plug all the stuff into the TV, that's the component cables. Now, then you have to put the video through the component cables into the PVR back to your computer. So, what you do is you go to your display settings. So, right now, guys, pretend that I am on HDMI. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my HDMI cable, okay? And I have not changed my settings yet. So, I go to my video output settings. It's still in HDMI. And then I scroll down to component, I click component, your TV should turn black, but then if you're on your recording thing, your capture thing on your computer, if you guys all have the old DVD set up, your screen should show this, but your TV screen won't show, it, your TV screen will just be black, but your computer screen will show this picture right here. So then you have to change your HDMI channel to your component cable, con to your con uh, component channel. And then this should pop up, and it should be a lower quality. It should be like this right here. But then you can just scroll down to whatever TV you have. Like if you go to 1080p, mine's not 1080p. So if I click 1080p, it'll just turn black. But if I go to 1080i, it'll do this. Very good quality. Same with the HD cable, which is really good. And then just do this, enter, and then um, we're, we're done. And you can record both in HD and play in HD. So it's a win-win, right? And um, this is the quality also, it is, so you guys want to be like this, good quality like this, very good quality. And um, that's pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching, post any comments you guys, or questions, I will answer any question that you have about this video that relates to the video. And I'll answer it, because I had a problem setting up my PVR, but I figured it out, know what to do now, I'm an expert. So please uh, leave a comment, and like the video. Thanks.